The Neon Demon is directed by Francis, I mean, Nicholas Winding Ramp, I'm sorry, and it's also produced and written by him. And it stars Elle Fanning, Carl Glussman, Jenna Malone, Bella Heathcote, Abby Lee, Christina Hendricks, and Keanu Reeves. And the plot of The Neon Demon is before I go into the plot of this movie I have to say I was this was a movie that I knew nothing about I thought this movie was going to look very stupid and this movie would not be be all that bad so I saw reviews for the movie and some of the reviews were very polarizing and some of them some people liked the movie some people hate it and just like this movie didn't deserve all the the bomb. All that. So, anyways, I watched this movie back in August, and I gave it a chance. So, what did I think about it? Let's find out. Jesse moves to Los Angeles after a 16th birthday to launch a career as a model. The head of her agency tells the innocent teen that she has the qualities to become a top star. Jesse soon faces the wrath of ruthless vixens who despise her fresh-faced beauty. And on top of that, she must contend with a seedy motel manager and a creepy photographer. As Jesse starts to take the fashion world by storm, her personality changes in ways that could help her against her cutthroat rivals. The Neon Demon is a very surprising movie. This movie is very dramatic, is very intense, and it's very psychological and hard in depth. The idea of a, a girl wanting to have a career as a mom and she has to deal with all that psychological stuff happening was good. Um, the technical aspects goes, the movie does get a little boring in an hour and 58 minutes. For $7 million, this movie looks well shot. The cinematography in this movie is great. The editing is really well done. I love the musical score in here by Cliff Martinez. It is a good musical score. As far as the script goes, I like... So I like some of the thing, some of the acting here, and the plot is a little underdeveloped. And I think it could have been developed more. Um, but the but in a way, the positives outweigh the negatives. Um, you got um all the good performances in here from L. Fanny, L. L. Fanning, Dakota Fanny's, Fanny's sister. I like both of them, but Dakota, I, lo I like more as an actress. Um, lo I love the acting in the movie. Keanu Reeves with his small screen time, he, he's good in the, in the role. He's better here than he was in Knock Knock. And I can't wait to see what he does in John Wick 2 gonna be fighting people, taking them names, he don't play around, don't set John with goth, um, yeah, my god, um, all the other actors, Jenna Malone, Abby Lee, Christina Hendricks, all of the acting in the movie is good, you also got Desmond Harrington, he's really good too, yeah, all the acting here is really good, I like it, and just this movie is... I think it's very underrated. This movie didn't deserve to bomb. Only making 3.3 million million back. It didn't deserve to do that. This movie should have made at least 50 to 60.3 million. Or 160 point million. But it is what it is. And the plot twist at the end of this movie, I won't give it away, you just have to watch the movie, but it is, it is very weird, and the ending is so weird. And not just weird, 
it's it's a mix of Rob Zombie Halloween 2 weird and a mix of Under the Skin weird. But um yeah, um Under the Neon Demon really good thriller. I really enjoyed it. Very underrated. And I will give the Neon Demon a better than Vampire Diaries. So, let me know what you think about the Neon Demon down below. Do you like it? Do you hate it? I'll see you guys.